You minus 15 seconds and counting. And here we go. 10, 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff of Falcon Heavy with Europa Clipper. Unveiling the mysteries of an enormous ocean lurking beneath the icy crust of Jupiter's moon, Europa. Engine chamber pressures are nominal. You see that the chamber pressures are tall as we hear. All 27 Merlin engines look great. Rocket beginning to roll. Putting down 5.1 million pounds of thrust. Coming up, they're going to back off those engines just a bit. As so we get ready to head into max, max power and telemetry nominal. We hear that power and telemetry on the vehicle are good there. Everything's looking uh, real well. Falcon Heavy is supersonic. They have uh, reduced power in the center core uh, to get through maximum max Q, maximum dynamic pressure on the launch vehicle as we approach that. The two side boosters at full throttle. A beautiful shot there is our camera team. Max Q. Locking into the rocket on a clear blue sky. The view from the booster cam back down on Earth. And there we heard the call for max Q. The vehicle is passing through maximum dynamic pressure. Uh, next thing up in about two minutes will be a booster engine cutoff where we see the two side booster engines, all 18, shut down and get ready for booster separation. But the vehicle is performing very well. Looking at all the telemetry that we have, uh, power and trajectory are nominal. We've been flying for just under two minutes so far. Everything looking good. These side boosters, once they do their job, they will be expended. If you're familiar with the Falcon Heavy, you know that they bring the boosters back on certain launches, but not on this one, because all of the performance is needed to push Europa Clipper into its proper orbit. Things continue to look good as the vehicle uh, heads down its uh, ascent phase here. All telemetry is looking very nominal for this flight this morning. Uh, Falcon Heavy is performing very well. Now we're just about 30 seconds away from separating those side boosters. Their engines will cut off first, then they will separate. MVAC is chilling. Starting to chill down that MVAC D engine in the second stage. And that's uh, where we need to get the engine uh, chilled to the proper temperatures before flowing uh, liquid oxygen and RP-1 into it. So uh, they're conditioning the engine to make sure things are ready for when it's ready to uh, start up. Stand by for booster separation. Booster engine cutoff. Side booster separation confirmed. And there they go. Those two boosters previously flown on Psyche. Uh, this will be their sixth flight. We thank you for their service this morning. They did a great job of getting Falcon Heavy and Europa Clipper on its way as the center core takes over and continues mission uh, down its ascent. Things are looking really good in the telemetry. Power and trajectory look nominal, and uh, chamber pressures on the nine center core engines look really good. And just a little more, 20 seconds from now, we'll get the cutoff of the main engine on the center core booster that remains. Four seconds after that, we will separate. Flying out over the Atlantic Ocean. There's a look from inside. There we, we see go. stage one. Uh, stage separation down. confirmed. And stage separation from the uh, center core. Getting ready for MVAC startup, SES-1. We're getting some applause here in the Mission Directors Center, and there you see the MVAC-D engine lighting up. Next thing up in about 10 seconds will be fairing separation. NYPY FTS has saved. And fa the fairing has protected Europa Clipper on its ascent th up into space, but once we get into space, we don't need that fairing anymore. Uh, fairing so separation confirmed. 
fairing has separated, and those will be recovered, Daryl, by uh, SpaceX's own recovery okay, ship, Go Cosmos. Up. And there um, you see them falling away into space. That is the only part of this rocket that will be recovered. The glow of the MVAC-D engine as it uh, performs its uh, first burn here. This is about a... Um, Three minute and 47 second burn. Uh, things are looking great. Uh, matter of fact, this is one of the shortest first burns that has been done on a Falcon Heavy uh, by SpaceX, but uh, it is required to get us into that parking orbit for that long coast that we have to get ready for the interplanetary trajectory that uh, we're going to need to get Europa Clipper on its way that we heard Jenny talk about to get those Earth Assist uh, slingshots as it, it uh, heads on its way for its mission. So things looking really good this morning with the performance of the Falcon Heavy. MVAC is performing well and everything looks good thus far in the today's mission. Usually those burns are the other way around with a longer first burn and the shorter second burn, but in this case it is reversed. As we look at some crystal clear views of the MVAC-D engine, the Stage 2 that's carrying Europa Clipper, orbital light is shining both on the spacecraft the second stage, and on planet Earth. Center core is beautiful. Has saved. There we've heard that the flight termination system on the center core has been saved as it heads back uh, to splash down. Things are looking good. I can tell you, Daryl, we had a beautiful weather day for launch. And as we're looking at MVAC flying in space with Europa Clipper, it is such a gorgeous view with Earth behind it. And uh, so we could not have had a better day for a mission launch today. No doubt about it, Mick. It was simply gorgeous. We had a hurricane a week ago, but after that pushed out, it brought us in its wake near perfect weather for launch. And now we're into space, dealing with the harsh conditions up there. Stage 2 FTS is safe. Uh, stage 2 has made its way into space, far enough away for uh, us to be able to safe the flight termination system. From a safety perspective, we're about a minute away from second stage engine cutoff as we'll see the MVAC-D uh, shut down and get ready for a long coast, uh, getting Europa Clipper into that parking orbit and uh, on its way for the uh, next firing that we will have, the second stage, uh, number two, to get it into that interplanetary uh, transfer orbit that we need to get Europa Clipper started. So things looking very well this morning. We're about 30 seconds from that stage engine cutoff, which we refer to as SECO-1. That's right, we'll get into, that. guidance. get into that coast phase. These views brought to you, of course, by ground stations across the track that are pulling in the high-resolution data from the cameras. Burn looking good, just a few seconds away from cutting off from that first burn. And there it goes. The first burn is complete. Yep, things look really well on the stage burn result. Apogee, Perigee, and everything for the mission looks really good. Engine performance, uh, very uh, well uh, performance by the second stage for this first burn. And uh, things continue to look good as we head into this uh, long coast for this parking orbit. 